Hey guys, so it's Saturday morning and I am just sitting down here in the living room um, or the sitting room as I call it sometimes <laughs> um, with a cup of coffee. <clears throat> Rosie is sleeping right here by the fireplace. If you can hear her snoring, that's what that is. Um, the boys are in different rooms playing video games because it's Saturday. We have no school and no definite plans today. So we let them play a little bit more video games on Saturdays than we normally do other days. <clears throat> um, I am planning, I've done no vlogging this week. I'm sorry for how I look. I feel like I'm a little bit of a mess. I, um, <laughs> Dean and I went on our date last night. We went and had some Thai food and I came home, I was so tired. I had some work stuff I needed to get to. He had to run out of town because I had found this couch on Facebook Marketplace that I wanted to get for this room. It was an antique couch, it was really pretty, but it turns out that some of the upholstery was coming off of the wooden frame, which I knew about, and he had sent extra pictures, and I thought, I can staple that back and then re-glue the trim and it would be fine. But this always happens to us, which is really irritating to me. But when Dean got there, the wood frame, like along the backside, was kind of scratched and messed up, and um, he gave a close up of that and I could see some, just some tiny little spots on the fabric, which, you know, maybe I can wash those out. Maybe that'll come out, like just kind of spot clean it. Um, he acted like we could sand down the wood and restain it, but I, and it was a really good price for an antique couch, but I do not want a project. Like I just, I don't have time for a project, I've never done any type of upholstery work or refinishing work, and I'm surely not starting on a couch. I think starting that sort of thing, like on a table, like where you re-sand a table down, re-stain it, refinish it, that would be a whole lot easier to start with when it comes to refinishing furniture than a couch. So I said, unless he'll take half price for it, I don't want it. Um, and the guy was very apologetic. I guess he didn't realize I, that that stuff didn't come through in the photos. And he was like, I'll fix it, I'll fix it. Cause that's what he does. He, he refinishes old furniture and he resells them. Um, he just didn't have time for this one. Um, so he took Dean through his shop and um, very apologetic. He, and I don't, I think he meant that he would fix these things and then sell it to us for the original price that he had posted, which I was willing to pay that price for the couch. So we'll see. We'll see, but anyway, so Dean went to Johnson City last night to go look at that couch, um, and he had to go to Lowe's and pick up some more paint because today I am painting, I'm trying to finish the paint in the study slash homeschool room. Um, so anyway, last night we came home from our day, I got some work stuff done, and I was so tired I went to bed. I didn't take my makeup off. I didn't even take my jewelry off. I still have my earrings on from last night. <laughs> um, and so this is all slept in makeup leftover. So I feel like I look a little bit of a hot mess right now, but it's okay. <clears throat> I'm sitting down drinking my coffee. Um, I usually, if I'm sitting here drinking my coffee and Dean's not here because he went to the dump to get rid of some stuff from that room that we just need to get rid of and to take Charlie to the vet because he has to get fixed soon. And we need to make sure he's up to date on all of his stuff before he can have that surgery. Anyway, so if I'm sitting here by myself, I'm typically reading this book, which I will link to in the description box below, The Little Book of Heidi. My mom got me this for Christmas, um, my mom and dad, and I'm really enjoying that. Or I am reading this book, Home Sweet Maison, Maison. I'm not sure it's a French word for home, and I have a horrible French accent, so I hope, I'm sure I massacred that. Anyway, but these are both really good books. I like to sit here and read through those and sip my coffee on Saturday mornings. Um, <clears throat> and just, yeah, it's, it's kind of like a slow way to wake up in the morning. So, like I said earlier, <laughs> Rosie's looking at herself in the, like the window, it's kind of has a mirror reflection on it of the fireplace, like she sees another dog and she's not sure what she thinks about that. Rosie typically, does not want to come in in the winter. Like she likes being outside. We have her bed right by the front door and she can see right down our driveway. She can see anybody who's driving by or walking up our um, driveway. And we have a really hard time getting her to come in when it gets really cold. She likes to stay out there. So we got her a heating pad that goes on her bed. I'll link to that in the description box below. We love that thing and she loves it too. She knows when it's on and she'll just curl up right on top of it. And then we put blankets over her 
like some outdoor old blankets that will stick on there. But this winter, she has actually wanted to come inside. Now, when we lived in our house on the mountain, she stayed inside all the time in the winter. But here, she just loves to like see down the driveway and see who's coming and she barks at him. And it's like, this is my house and I gotta keep an eye on it. But for some reason, this past week or so, when we've had this snowstorm, and I shouldn't even say storm, it's not a big deal, but she has wanted to come in and sleep right here by the fire like she used to in the house on the mountain. And she's been so happy and cozy that she sees like this other dog in the <laughs> fireplace and she's trying to figure out what's going on. Anyway, um, I haven't done much vlogging this week, so I'm trying to think what I've been up to. So we can have a little chit chat here this morning <laughs> to catch up on the week. Um, I went out of town to do some grocery shopping. I had to pick up a Sam's Club order for C students for Wednesday. And I had to pick up an Aldi's order for us here for groceries. I've been doing groceries a little bit differently. I kind of switched things up back and forth a little bit here and there. Um, I have been just buying things to stock my pantry, my fridge, my freezer, um, my cabinets. I don't really keep a ton in my cabinets other than spices because I have a pantry that I keep everything in. But I feel like if I can stay stocked on all of the staples in those three areas, then when I go to make a meal and I just pull out my cookbooks and I'm like, what do I wanna make this week? I have everything that I wanna use and I can come up with dishes. And I feel like that saves me a little bit more time here recently. It's been saving me some time rather than sitting down with the cookbooks first and identifying meals that I wanna make, then checking all of those recipes and creating a list and then going through and marking off the things I already have and then placing an online order for what I don't have. I don't know, I just for some reason that feels like that takes longer than walking through my pantry, checking my fridge and my freezer and writing things that I'm out of, making sure I'm kind of stocked up on all the things I wanna keep on hand and then just placing an order for those things and then sitting down with my cookbooks and kind of looking at what I wanna make for lunches and dinners. Um, and I typically do not meal plan breakfasts. I typically just buy breakfast foods that my boys can get up and make their own breakfast with. So that just helps me a little bit. I guess it's her running through the house <laughs> to play switch with his brother. Um, <clears throat> so I also went to Lowe's earlier this week to get paint because I was out of ceiling paint for this room out here. And I had a whole gallon of the wall color paint, which I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's right here. Um, it's called Luxury Linen. And I think, I don't remember who that's by because at Lowe's you can buy your base paint from whatever brand that you want base paint. Um, I think there's Kills, there's Valspar. They have a bunch of different ones. They've got some eco ones. I don't know. I buy the low VOC one. I think from Valspar is typically what I do. Um, so it doesn't have as much like off gassing kind of things going on with it. Um, but I don't remember the brand of paint color that I got these paints from because it was like two years ago that I bought all of this stuff. Anyway, it's called Luxury Linen. It's like a creamyish brown, like a yellowy brown white color. It does look like linen. Um, I knew at this house I didn't want all white everywhere. At my last house on the mountain, we had all white walls and we had dark gray trim. Now I liked it. It was just the style that I liked, but at this house, I wanted things to be a little bit more warmer and cozier looking. The doors and the trim of the house are already all white. So I didn't want to continue white everywhere. Um, so I thought, I also didn't want to do full color everywhere. Just, we had a month to kind of get everything done in this house before we moved in. And I didn't have time to really think and plan color coordination, what I wanted where, and we were just moving in all of our old furniture. And I knew I'd be buying a bunch of new furniture. And so typically, you match your paint to what you have. And I, it was just too much at that point. So what I did is I painted this luxury linen everywhere on the top parts of all of our walls because we have this wainscoting and chair rails everywhere else. And I painted the lower half of the wall. You can see this bluish color right here. Can't remember what that one's called. I'll have to look these paint colors up later if you guys are interested. And then in some other rooms, there's a green color that goes really well with this blue. And so we've kind of tried to match our furniture and our rugs and our fabrics and whatnot based around blues and greens. 
Um, and then accent colors are like a goldish yellow color and then a um, salmony coral color that looks really good with this blue and the greens in the house. So anyway, all of that to say, I had almost a full gallon of this luxury linen and I thought it was enough to do the room but my brain wasn't thinking and it was only enough to do the first coat. And so Dean had to go last night and pick up another gallon so we could do the second coat for that room out there. So today my plan is to get the second coat of this color on the walls and then I'll do um, hopefully two coats of this blue. I'm gonna do blue out there instead of green. So I'll have two main rooms with blue and I have two main rooms already with green. Our bedroom and one of the boys' bedrooms has blue on the bottoms of the walls and then one of the boys' bedroom has the green on the bottom of the walls. Um, so it kind of keeps things even, not that it matters all that much, but I really, uh, really like the blue and so I want that out there in that room because it's gonna be like a study office area. I mean, I really like just, I can match to the blue, I feel like a little bit better than the green, although I do really like green. Anyway, um, I'll be doing that. And then while those things are drying, I will be taking our white and doing the trim and the insides of the doors. I repainted doors and trim this summer in the house, uh, at least the doors that needed it that I didn't get to when we first moved in and they look so much better. So I need to get that done on that room because I just, that room was still like a garage over the summer. I didn't do anything with it. So I've got to do that today. My plan is to get all of the painting done today because Dean has to get the flooring and the stair rail on next. And then we'll be done with that room. We'll be done. I'm so excited. Um, so yeah, the propane is on right now. It's heating the room up so that everything's warm and I can paint. So I'm gonna finish my cup of coffee and then I'm gonna go put on my crummy old paint clothes and pull my hair up, find some good podcasts to listen to, and then I'm gonna head out there and I'm just gonna spend the day painting yeah, yeah, spend the day painting. We'll probably have leftovers for lunch because I'm not gonna come in to make food. Um, so everybody is just on their own. I hope they can find stuff to feed themselves with today. <laughs> I'll make dinner and that's about it. All right. So yeah, I'm just going to finish my cup of coffee and get out there and paint and hopefully knock this project out, at least my part of it, today. Okay guys, so sorry for the echoey sound, but I wanted to show you an update of our new garage conversion to a study homeschool room kind of thing. Um, I painted this week, just finished up with the ceiling, the walls, and the wainscoting. Um, the only thing left for me to paint are the doors and the trim around the doors. There's one there, and then there's one back behind this wall. Um, we also have rails or like a big piece of uh, like wood, like shelves kind of to put right through here and those will be painted white. And then I will repaint these white right here. Um, and that's pretty much it, I think, where painting goes. Now, the next step is Dean's gonna do the flooring and then we have the stair rail over there to do and we'll probably paint this wooden piece right here and down here, I'm just not sure what that's gonna look like yet until Dean starts on the flooring and kind of gets that done and taken care of. Once that is done, we'll know better if we're gonna paint that or if we're gonna cover it with something. I'm not really sure yet. So this is the finished paint, like I said, except for the doors and trim and the shelves on the upper part of the wall, still drying. You can see the different colors right there. Um, so it definitely looks more like a room now. You come around this way so you guys can see. Um, not here. Let's put the trim up around the door over here. Door handle, all of that stuff. Anyway, nice little update for you guys. Hey guys, so I am just jumping on here to wrap up this week's vlog. It was short and sweet and very different from most of my vlogs. Um, we didn't really get up to a whole lot this week just because of the snow. We had a lot of things canceled and um, yeah, we just didn't get up to all a whole lot last week. So that's why this vlog was different and just a little bit of a chit chat and a review of the updates on the study um, that I showed you. So here's hoping that this week should be quite normal, but here's hoping we get some more done out there over the next couple of weeks, depending on Dean's schedule, because um, we have all of the flooring 
he just has to, he's got some sort of like moisture barrier that he has to put down and then he has to start putting the flooring down. And then it'll be renting a sander and sanding it and staining it and polyurethaning it and doing all that stuff. So anyway, um, the next two, three, four weeks will basically just be revolving around the floor as far as out there goes. But this coming week, um, all the snow's melted pretty much. So everything should be back to normal. Um, we should have all of our normal activities and things. I'm not really sure what we're going to get up to next week. Um, but, uh, you'll have to tune into next week's vlog just to see what all we are up to. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this little, um, mini vlog, I guess. Um, and if you did, I would love it if you give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and I will see you in next week's vlog. Bye.